Hello again! Okay, so, this is a book review, as I just finished Undead and Unpopular by Mary Janice Davidson. So, um, this was an interesting book. It wasn't, it didn't, I feel like each book needs something. And these last two books, especially the last, the, the previous one, this one was better than the last one, but I don't know. This was a good story, but uh, I probably should have finished it a lot sooner than than I did just right now, because I left it off with like what four chapters. Oh, oh my god, I'm so fucking tired, guys. You have no idea. Mm. But it was interesting. The zombie thing was pretty interesting. Like I finally got to the zombie part, and there's the whole like. It was interesting. It wasn't like again. I should have. I shouldn't have left it off so long with those like these last few chapters that I just read tonight. I shouldn't have left it off because when I did leave it, I was sort of like into the book, and this was like a week ago before I started doing my whole room. If I had finished it before I started doing the room, I would have had a better one. But this was good. There was. I was thoroughly engaged in this book, and I did want to keep reading it but it wasn't so enough that like yeah just because like again this book and the previous book felt like it just had a bunch of stuff going on instead of like a main plot line which the next one does i do remember that some yeah like the next one in this series that i own i liked the few the stuff that like had happened like the whole like this this book that was written in the last book? I think it was the last book. By that human kid that was going to college and such. That popped up in here again, then a continuation for it, and it was in it was an interesting part. And then the whole uh, your old European vampires came over to like pay tribute finally to Betsy and Eric. Cause like it's been so like it's been like what how many books do we have here? Like three books prior to this? Yeah. Three books prior to this, before they find two to three books prior to this, before they finally came to pay tribute, and it's like what over a year before they finally paid tribute to, or like you know came to see the talk to. Gosh, I'm so sorry, guys. I'm tired. Before they came to pay tribute to her, and then this whole thing with one of the European vampires and one of her um, her friend vampires that she's made. Something happened between the two of them a long time ago, like the two vampires, and that was an interesting part. But then it sort of like was rushed at the end, that the little part the, of the two vampires, like with the European one and then Betsy's friend va vampire friend it felt rushed like the ending was rushed here but again again i should have read it in like a better amount of time and not left it for like a week and like totally was pulled out of the zone but i wouldn't say this is another filler book this is a partly filler book because like this book has like the european vampires coming finally yeah the powerful European vampires who have finally come to pay their respects the week before her birthday. And the birthday thing was sort of like an added thing, I felt. It wasn't like all that important. It was just something like far in the background that was just like something involving. The main thing about this was the whole like animosity. I don't know if that is correct term, but like this thing, this tension between, um, you know, like, Betsy and Eric, and the whole Eurovi Euro European, European Vampire Council group thingy. Um, that was, I found, was the main thing of this entire book. And then, like, nearly, like, much major majority of the first half of the book, everyone was saying, like, the beginning of each chapter was like, there's a zombie in the attic, there's a zombie in the attic, there's a zombie in the there is a zombie in the attic, Betsy, you need to go take care of that. And it was like, there is no zombie, no zombie, and then, you know, you know, if I know, okay, I go to the attic, there's no zombie. The, all that, I'm not going to say all what happened, but, you know, she finally does go to the attic to find out whether or not there is an actual zombie in the attic. And that was a little interesting thing that happened. So, I would recommend reading this book, just... 
<sighs> yeah. It was hard for me. But I do recommend reading it. It was an interesting read. It did keep me engaged. Like, for the... Yeah, about four chapters. Like, this is what I had left. I was at this chapter, and this is about all I had left. So, all of this, and I did put it down for, like, maybe a day or two between, like, with the whole Manny thing going on. Like, me, me seeing Manny just in general. Um, this all kept me really engaged, and I had, like, a good plot line. Like, when I picked it up after, like, those two days off, I was, like, I was brought back into the story. But... It's been like a week or so since I left off here. I would say this is a good book to read. It kept me engaged. It wasn't, it was like a part filler, part like a book on its own because of the whole European vampire plot thing that was going on here. This wasn't a fantastic book, but it was a good book in general. So I hope like after like Undead and Uneasy, which is the next book I'm going to be reading, my own book. So yeah. I don't know what it, all this finger porting and waggling I'm doing. <laughs> but yes, you should read this book, especially if you're going to read it within the series. I wouldn't recommend it reading on its own, but if you're going to read the entire um, Betsy Taylor series, then yes, definitely read it. I would say you could skip the previous book, the um, Undead and Unreturnable, like as I said in that book review. Just, you should read this one, just, yes. So, yes, that was that book. And I could finally return that one to the library. So now I'm going to finish this book, and literally I have, like, four chapters left to this one. This one I gen, like, uh, I do remember the stuff in this. I stopped it about the same time I stopped that reading that book. But this one I can, I do remember a bit more than that one. And I do have stuff to say about this book, so... This is the next one I'm going to be finishing, and finishing it very soon. So yeah, this is my next book, and I have the next book from the library on hold. And I picked up library stuff today, but that book was not ready yet. I'm like number 12 in the hold list, so <sighs> I was probably going to be a little while. Like, I don't know if it, it's either going to be next week or the week after that. But I should have it by December. I should start at least reading it by December. Start reading it. Yes, and you'll find out what when it is. So, anyway, that is the end of this little weirdish um, book review of Undead and Unpopular. So, if you liked my little weird review, you hit that like button down there, and you can leave your comments down below of how you felt about this book. Because, yeah, I should not have left it the way I did. I like how you felt about it. Just don't be like rude and like all that stuff, because just don't like negativity or be like oh bitch this was the best book you are insane like we had this and this and blah 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 uh you know it's my own fault that I left it for like a week or so you know just let me know how you felt about the book if you have read it you know just let me know how you felt about it just don't be rude or pushy or negativity because we do not need negativity in the world okay we don't need we do not need it Especially now that freaking Donald Trump is the U.S. president. Yeah. 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 And if this is the first time you're watching my videos, hit that big red subscribe button down there by my picture for more book reviews, hauls, unboxing, unbagging, because some things come in a manila wrap, a bubble wrap, manila envelope, and plastic wrapped baggy thing. Vlogmas, random vlogs, and random random videos that I have no idea where to categorize them. Alright, so I'm going to go continue watching YouTube videos, and I'm going to relax because, and get ready for a shower soon-ish, because, yeah, I'm not going to watch the, because I have a scary video, it's a Goosebump movie, the, the Goosebump movie with Jack Black, I have that, and like, I'm not going to watch it right now because it's going to terrify me because it has a freaking ventriloquist dummy doll there, and those things terrify the fuck out of me. Like, I'm serious. I hate those fucking things. They are, like, you know, the worst nightmare I could ever have. So, yeah, that's gonna be watching sometime during the day at lunchtime. So, I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye, everyone.